Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion Community Remix. Can we maybe not have a guppy run? Look, I like guppy runs as much as the next guy. Might be getting a little overkill though. It's just a shame, like, I don't know if this is gonna change in Rebirth, and it's not like it's a major problem, but the deal with the like the deal with the devil strategy seems to reward becoming guppy so much. Maybe that's my own personal issue here. Um but like, if you go for hardcore deals with the devil, it seems like you pretty much oftentimes end up going down that guppy path, because if you take one guppy item, then it really incentivizes taking the other ones. I don't know how you work around that. I don't know how many people that actually ends up affecting, but seriously, like, guppy is, in a way, almost becoming, like, the new Polyphemus or something like that, where it's like, oh, he became a guppy, GG. So, uh, I deliberately chose not to pick up that spirit heart. Well, it might not be a spirit heart, but not to, you know, upset that tinted rock yet, because I want to, if it is a spirit heart, save it for the next floor. But for now, I'm just mostly excited to be on a vanilla floor to start with instead of an XL floor. Holy crap. Alright, don't do me any favors, game. Free HP upgrade just for beating the boss is pretty good, combined with another HP upgrade just for beating the boss. Let's see what our item room contains. It's not down here. Uh, you know, if you're gonna have to fight a mini boss on the first floor, Wrath is uh, probably one of the ones that you'd be most happy to do it on. Came out a little bit, you know, uh, sexualized there. I didn't necessarily mean it that way. Just keep throwing bombs at me. You know, the bombs do the same amount of damage no matter what. So we can take him out super easily. Maybe get some bombs for ourselves. Hey, indeed we did. And a pill, which I'll take because it's early. Hey, luck up. Uh, I still don't really know how that affects things, except to say, that, you know, if it's gonna be a bad pill, I'm glad it's a luck up as opposed to something else. In any case, our item room is gonna be directly above here. We have one reroll remaining. We're definitely not gonna use it on the, uh... But well, we don't have anything else to use it on. I kinda like poison bombs, honestly. I think we'll end up just leaving this floor with, uh... You know, a very standard run. But, one key that we can use on the next floor and two extra HP. That's a pretty huge get. Considering, uh... Well, considering the average, I guess. Could open that golden chest. If we get another key here, maybe I will, but it's pretty unlikely. Alright, very funny game. So, that actually changes things a lot. Now we don't have a spirit heart. I thought we would have one to, to take down to the next floor, but not having one means I have to be very vigilant. Check out our item room first. Uh, Abel, of course it shows up. Followed by Holy Water, so maybe our luck has run out. But, uh, yeah, I have to be very vigilant and not take damage. If we take damage, that will... Put a damper on our deal with the devil situation. I am gonna actively, like, not pursue becoming Guppy. It was really just a, a roll of the dice that worked out last time where we got a random Guppy's tail on our uh, curse room, which doesn't happen very often. It's not exceptionally rare, but not exceptionally common either. We got Blood Oath again on the last run, and I, I will take Blood Oath every single time if it continues to show up because I like that item so much. Wow, you know, for all my complaints about the fact that we got Holy Water, the next room over had 11 cents and a key inside of it, which might actually be able to kickstart, I was gonna say kickstart our shark. I was thinking of Motley Crew, as usual. Um, no, but kickstart our shop endeavor. There we go, one of them dead makes this a whole lot easier. And that should do it, if I could actually just hit you. Two more keys is great, we will go to our, uh... Well, you know what, let's see if our secret room works here first. But we will go to the curse room, we'll just do it after we beat the boss and see if we can, you know, work out what we need to work out. No secret room there, that's fine. If we find the secret room, we can definitely, or likely get enough money to go to the shop, except never mind, because we totally just figured it out anyway. I think this is an okay place for the bomb, even though it's not going to get, you know, the, the secret room potential, and it gives us the spirit hearts from the tinted rock. Alright, we're in a, an exceptionally good position. One of the common themes that's been running through the past few runs is, uh, really exceptionally lucky first few floors. And Champion's Belt, I think, ties into that nicely. It's a community remixy item. It's an item that gives us more consumables, and it's an item that gives us a little bit of a damage upgrade as well. So I, uh, I like it. Could be better, could be worse, but, uh, for 15 cents this early, I think it's a pretty good choice. Plus, it saves a reroll that we can use maybe a little bit later. But for now, this is gonna be double champion room. And I really think that, like, the way that champion's, uh, champ's belt is, like, uh, ridden is basically, like, you get a positive in extra damage, but a lower in that you fight more champions. But I think, like, fighting champions is not necessarily a detriment because of the sweet consumables you can get. Double keys dropping like crazy for some reason. We'll, we'll pick up and reroll the poop if we have a chance. Otherwise, we're still pretty unlikely to see it again. It's a disappointing drop, to be sure. Another tinted rock as well, man. 
super lucky so far. And we can place a bomb down here. What am I thinking? Total waste of a bomb there. But we did get small rock. Okay, I at this point, there's nothing I can complain about. I need to have like two floors with no complaining. Although that's gonna be difficult because I don't have a reroll for a deal with the devil. Are you freaking kidding me? Nah, I'm just, I'm having a laugh, if you will. Uh, let's try popping this bomb down here. That works fantastically, as you can see. It's actually not useless because it does kind of open up some more lines of sight for me down the middle here, but certainly I would consider that kind of a waste. We've had so many bombs show up though that I don't really feel too bad about it. All right, so after, I wonder if Champ's Belt works on bosses. Is that why we're seeing maybe Green Larry Jr. here? That's something I actually hadn't considered in the past. If so, that could be a bonus as well because there's so many like blue champions that actually give you uh, spirit hearts. Good shot, and eight ball, which we won't be able to reroll unless we fight Krampus, which we don't. You know what? We're gonna take Lucky Foot. Without a reroll, this deal with the devil becomes pretty terrible. I uh, don't really want to pick it up, but I will for the tarot card. Ah, it's a good tarot card. I think that's worth it. Uh, yes, I uh, I took Luck Foot. I like Luck Foot. I think it's a great item. A little bit of an unexciting deal with the devil, though. You could definitely uh, forgive me for saying that. I guess our secret room isn't there either. We will go to our curse room quickly. Allow me to rehydrate. Still a little bit under the weather. Want to make sure my vocal cords don't turn me into, you know, Tom Waits. Not that there's anything wrong with that. All right. In our curse room, we also find our secret room. I can't not at least pick it up. You're lucky I can't reroll it. I might as well take the flies associated with it. I don't know if there's like a plus 80% chance to become Guppy in Community Remix or something like that, but it does feel like that sometimes. And there's enough money. I'm not gonna lose a... Oh, come on. I'm not gonna lose two more Spirit Arts making this happen. I'd rather just use a bomb like we did. Uh, but there's enough money to uh, make the next shop worthwhile as well. So, pretty good floor. We're still above Isaac's starting health. We've had two damage upgrades. Uh, item room was pretty terrible this time, but we've got poison bombs and enough money to make our next shop worthwhile as well, so... Down to the next floor, I would say. We're also one-third of the way to becoming Guppy! If I'm not gonna become Guppy, why did I pick up the, uh... Why did I pick up Guppy's head? Who knows, maybe that'll be like our one out in a situation. It'll be like, you know, if we become Guppy, we'll have a chance of winning, otherwise we'll guaranteed lose. You know what, I will do this, and then we'll use a bomb on the way out. Book of Belial is good, but certainly not good enough to give up the D6-4. We'll reroll that into Transcendence. Oh man, apparently forgot how to speak. Transcendence, uh, which is a great item. Ability to fly is a pretty common theme in uh, a lot of our wins. So I'm pretty excited to get this. Could have bombed our way into the mob trap room. Probably don't need me to tell you that that's pretty much worthless. Check this out. Dead Sea Scrolls, not very good, but because we have a mob trap room right here, we might as well swing by. Wow, tons of money. Maybe the next two shops are worthwhile, but this one is guaranteed to not have greed. In a way, I wish our shop was discovered a little bit earlier because now I'm gonna use my reroll on the item room instead, and we may not actually have a reroll to use on either a, uh, a deal with the devil, potentially, or a shop. But hey, uh, by picking up uh, Luckfoot on the last floor, our shop, like the acceptable items in the shop, it's kind of increased a little bit because now if mom's coin first shows up we'll definitely pick it up not that that would be truly amazing or anything like that but it would be a start and good check this guy out and then you i really thought you would pop up before the end of that all right can't do anything with that red heart we'll reroll dead sea scrolls i don't want to use it because kamikaze could cost me my spirit heart here and i think that's very much not worth it Little Chad is terrible as well. Man, we've had the not the greatest assortment of uh, item room items so far. Our best item has been Poison Bombs. Well, Bob's Curse, I guess, if you want to get technical. And I do. It's a shop. Give me, uh, give me just a simple good shop item. I would love it. Not have to go through any reroll calisthenics just to make something happen. And pretty much that's exactly how that went down. I'm not going to buy another key. I think it's kind of a waste. We have three already. Rather save our money and use it on the next floor, but the compass is a great choice, and we will have we'll have a little bit of a redundant reroll, so we can use it either on the deal with the devil or on the shop. No, not on the shop. Sorry. Well, we could, but it would be useless. The deal with the devil, or the item room, or the boss room. So hopefully, at least two out of the three of those end up being half decent. I don't hold a ton of hope. That's weird. So we had two champions that were the same color. Uh, one dropped a half red heart. One dropped a full spirit heart. A little unusual, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with it. One-shotting these flies feels pretty good. There's a lot of them, but oh well. 
almost hope for a Pestilence fight here. Fistula is also very easy, but uh, I was hoping for Pestilence just so we could... Oh, I thought that poison damage would transfer, but... Um, uh, just so we could get a single orbital, because that's really like the one defensive thing we're lacking right now. I think. Well, one of the defensive things we're lacking is just an orbital, so when there's a room with like a bunch of flies or spiders, we at least have a certain... Oh, that was bad. A certain chance to... Uh, take them out before they hit us. I mean, we could do that with our shots as well, but I'm not always 100% reliable with those, but no need to worry too much about the strategy as of yet. I probably should have been hit there. I didn't plan appropriately, but that's okay. Sometimes you get hits you don't deserve, and sometimes you deserve hits and you don't get them. Sometimes you deserve a deal with the devil, and you don't get one either. I really doubt we're going to have another reroll ready, so I'm just going to, yeah, finish this floor off. And we're going to reroll, uh... Wow, second secret room, that's super lucky. We're gonna reroll whatever the shitty item in our item room was. I've actually forgotten. Probably not gonna play that. Could blow it up for a little extra money, but I don't think it's prudent. Yeah, we'll um we'll go reroll our item room and I'll be content, I suppose, with a range upgrade. It's not great, but it could be worse. I mean, who am I to talk? I picked up uh Magic 8 Ball last floor, so clearly I'm not up on the new meta. Wow. Well, if it's going to be something that we don't want, at least it's a book, so maybe libraries are better for us in the future, but that is a huge disappointment. As is the fact that we didn't get a deal with the devil on this floor, which I thought was pretty much guaranteed. So be it. Shit happens. We're still in a pretty good position, although certainly demonstrably less powerful than a lot of the runs that have come before it. In any case, though, we'll head downwards. Make sure to pick up that range upgrade. That might end up making all the difference in some kind of... Parallel universe where range upgrades actually matter and don't just take up space that could be given to more valuable items. Should stop complaining because Gluttony is actually uh, probably my favorite mini boss to fight. He's among the easiest of the mini bosses and he has like the best straight up upgrade if he gives it to you. And which he does not. Okay. But maybe that's okay. I'm disappointed because I'm looking around and I'm realizing there's no arcade on this floor. Whenever I see a boss trap room, I'm always like, oh, we'll just go to the arcade and make it happen, but it might not be possible here. Could still be possible, but may not be possible. Oh, that is a sweet assortment of bombs. The only way in is either to sacrifice our spirit hearts or get a temperance card or just find a random blood bank, which does happen from time to time, or perhaps we, uh find a secret room entrance, but it looks like it's on a terminal itself, so it probably can't be bombed in. Usually boss trap rooms, uh, don't... Uh, yeah, that's a bad situation there, but usually they don't, uh, make for easy secret room bombings. That's okay, though. We're fine. Uh, our shop's kinda shitty. Probably won't buy the steam sale this late in the game. Even though we could now. Uh, I'd rather just save our reroll and, uh, reroll that into something even better. Now that we have the compass, a map would be nice. Help us plan our rerolls effectively. Not that I'm using them effectively, but at least in theory, we'd have that option now. But really, this floor is all about this deal with the devil potential. If we can make it happen. What we get if we make it happen. And what we can do with that afterwards. Loving the ability to fly, of course. I, again, we continue to take some books out of the rotation here, but uh, a frustrating amount of uh, shitty items. But we have all good pills. Eh, all not bad pills. I should always learn to be more correct in my speaking there. Alright, so we do get our dream come true. I took damage against Pestilence because apparently I felt sorry for him. And there's no other conceivable explanation for why I would have walked into that shot, I guess. One poison bomb. Really, really would be nice here if I could just land it. There we go. Now Pestilence will be easy. We should still get a deal with the devil, according to the rules as I understand them, at least. And we do... This is an important moment for us. This is what we wanted. And those items are not very good. I hope people aren't fed up with Blood Oath yet. Blood Oath is one of those items that I almost can't fathom people being mad about. Just because it's got such a cool effect and it has like an obvious trade-off associated with it. Uh, I still don't think it's worth going to the boss trap room. The spirit hearts protecting us and giving us deal with the devil chances are much more valuable in my, you know, power rankings. And I'm just gonna hang back here. So far, so decent. This is not as powerful a run as we've had uh, over the past two. But in a way, that's kind of refreshing to kind of make me work for it a little bit more. The, the good thing about sacrificing my spirit hearts 
to get into that boss trap room is that it would even give us one more reroll, which might be more valuable than anything else. There's enough heart. You know, I think we're going to do it. It's a bit of a gamble. It's actually a pretty big gamble. And if the item inside ends up being, like, garbage here, then it, it, it's terrible. Let's maybe look for our secret room first. And we uh, shouldn't go to our curse room until we have a, a reroll active. Might have to break that rule, though. All right, there's our secret room. It's a slot machine. Well, we're going to go to the curse room. Are we really going to hurt ourselves enough to get into that boss trap room? It seems so risky and, and like, so needless. But it would give us one more reroll. I can't deny that part. I can't. I, as much as I would love to, I know it would give us access to the boss trap room. I have to say no to it for now. So you know what? That's going to settle it for this floor. We're done. I'm not buying the Steam sale. Better to save our money. Down to the next floor. I'm sorry, game. You've given me Guppy on a silver platter too much lately, and I can't take it. If I upload three, you know, Guppy blood oath runs in a row, the series might as well be over. And don't even put like a G in, like an upside down G in here, making me think of Guppy. Come on, let's go. Depths part one. We gotta go our own way like a Fleetwood Mac song. We're still in a great position, like just because I didn't take Guppy, it's not like, you know, my dad is like the CEO of Exxon or something like that, and he's like, hey, Slugger, got you a job at the company, here's a trillion dollars, and I'm like, no, dad, I wanna make my own way as a, like an Alaskan crab fisherman. It's not like I've, I've put myself out a ton. We're still in a good position. We've got good items. We've got good damage. But, uh, probably the smart play would be to definitely get that, uh, that guppy pickup, but maybe the smartest play is the one that keeps my enthusiasm for the game high because it keeps uh, variety up, if you will. Half spirit art here is, is quite important. Now that I've not taken guppy, that totally opens the road to taking mom's knife or something like that. There, you, my master plan has now been revealed. Please drop a spirit heart, champions. I would very much like to uh, have a deal with the devil chance to make my uh, infernal dreams come true. The stars is a free trip to the item room, which actually seems pretty good, considering we have a reroll active right now. Book of Shadows. Man, if we get a library, we are already like, we've done half the work for it. And x-ray vision is a great item, in my opinion. For many reasons, uh, chief amongst them is second secret room potential. But also, saving bombs is nice. Alright, I'm gonna open this golden chest. Oh, that is... that is sweet. But also a little scary. So most of the time, you wouldn't want to take an eternal heart until the end of the floor. I'm going to break that rule, or I already did break that rule this time, because I wanted that spirit heart to protect our red hearts. So we can get a deal with the devil. Certainly, uh, this might end up coming back to bite me in the ass. I may end up losing a full HP upgrade as a result of it. Don't worry about these guys, they'll get chewed up eventually. As soon as we take out one, life becomes easy. And I think that's about to happen. Maybe not. Maybe I'll start working them over here first. There we go. Uh, yeah, this could come back to bite me in the ass. Definitely. I could lose a full HP upgrade. Or, uh, well, the more spirit arts I get, the better this looks. I could uh, keep my HP upgrade. Can't play that, obviously, which kind of sucks. But there's no boss trap room on this floor anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Um, or I could keep my HP upgrade, and we'll get a deal with the devil anyway. Kind of hoping we fight war on this floor. That's not something I often hope for, but if it happens, it happens. Thinking there's a pretty decent chance we end up going up against greed. And these guys can walk on the spikes and stay there for like three ticks. It's more HP than I would have thought. Uh, okay, well that is like the greatest trinket in game's history. Let's recall that if greed drops a bunch of money, we shouldn't pick it up right away. We should go back, get a uh, soul penny. The Soul Penny seriously may be the best trinket of the game. Now that I've seen it, uh, I, I believe it. Well, I, we actually won't get any money for this room unless we get like a random drop. So we'll actually reroll that. Book of Revelations maybe guarantees us a fight against war. Is that what we want? It seems okay, yeah. I didn't even see this half spirit heart back here. We've gotten insanely lucky with some of these drops lately. So we've got a big floor ahead of us, you know, little head, big world here. But, um, we're gonna make our way over to the boss first because, you know, 
that's where the, the money is made, basically. It's where the damage is made, at least. There's a full spirit heart because there were a few pennies on the ground. Seriously, this item is crazy good. There's almost like, in, in Remix, there's like a little bit of, um... It, I don't want to say equality because it kind of is not really the exact word I'm looking for. Oh, that was bad. Um, but there's a tendency for like some of the items to be like, well, if there's double bombs, why can't there be double keys? And if there's half red hearts, why can't there be half spirit hearts? So I can see the logic, like, well, if there's a, a, a penny for every other kind of consumable, we should make a penny for spirit hearts. I just want to say to the people who are making Community Remix, thank you. <laughs> you've, you've made my life, especially on this run, probably a lot easier. Uh, it's a cool trinket as well. That was such awful damage. I didn't think he would come down like that. Why didn't I think he would come down like that? Um, it's it's probably overpowered, but there are other overpowered items in Isaac, so maybe that's all okay. Plenty of rerolls here uh, to be able to use after our boss fight. Of course, we, oh no! I was just about to say, of course, we are fighting war, and then it ended up being conquest because uh, we can't have anything nice. I do have, I have enough poison bombs to feel good about using poison bombs uh, on Conquest. I also hate Conquest, and the faster he dies, the faster I'll feel like I'm, I've lived a fulfilling life. Seriously, dude. Oh, it worked! Okay. We're not doing a ton of damage by way of those, uh, those bombs, but we're doing some. Are you kidding me? And I will use, like, all of my bombs if it means getting out of this fight a little bit faster. He's wily, though. He's annoying. Seems to be stuck in his ways here, though, so that's fine. Seriously? The only time he shoots the curve shots and they don't curve. Coming right in my face. Uh, I don't think there's any need to use, uh, yet another bomb. No deal with the devil? That's BS. But at least we don't have to waste our reroll on, uh, White Pony. Instead, we just got a cube of meat. I can carry that back to the shop, and we can get to work, uh, grinding out a good shop item here. And really should go to every single room on this floor, because now that we have uh, Soul Penny, we can build up a ton of Spirit Hearts. That lack of a deal with the Devil actually is really disappointing, because it means that we probably won't get one. Maybe ever again, but, you know, best case scenario, in all likelihood, is the Womb Part 1. Portable slot is terrible. I know you can do cool synergistic stuff with it. I don't do that, though, so I consider it to be terrible. And that's an entirely a result of my ignorance, and I'm aware of that. So we're also, uh, we'd be stupid not to explore the rest of the floor anyway, because we want to find the second secret room with, uh, X-ray goggles, which could give us... I mean, I'd rather it didn't give us an eternal heart at this point, but I don't know what I would really be wanting instead. A red chest, like, I guess a free deal with the devil item. Or if it could just give me some money, that would be great as well, so that we could just stack up, uh, even more spirit hearts. Which we seem to be doing pretty well with thus far. We lost a lot on that Conquest fight, but I don't think that's indicative of anything but the fact that Conquest is kind of a dick. It's an annoying boss fight. He Maybe it's just me, but Conquest always does more damage to me than he deserves to do. So I don't really take that as like a, a barometer of where we are on this run. Good. Can always use a few extra keys. And the pennies occasionally work out very nicely. We'll have one more reroll ready, one more reroll available on this, uh, the entirety of this floor. The only good thing about there being an Eternal Heart in the second secret room would be, uh, we could play the Blood Bank and maybe get another HP as a result. Which is important, I mean, the more HP we have, the better, even though it does cause us to do less damage. We're hoping to trade these away eventually. Nuns have it, there you go. So this is great for the future, especially since we're, uh, guaranteed is probably a strong word, but it's pretty likely that we'll get a, uh, an arcade on the next floor. And if we get an arcade on the next floor, that's really when we can use uh, Soul Penny to its full effect. I've actually been tempted to use uh, Soul Penny on this floor, even though it would cost us our Eternal Heart, but I figured, not use Soul Penny, sorry, use the Blood Bank. And I figured, you know, keep it simple, stupid. Let's not make any uh, colossal mistakes that cost us, like, attributes, when uh, there's a pretty decent chance we get an arcade on the next floor anyway. And if we get an arcade on the next floor, who knows, we maybe generate six Spirit Hearts? I'm not sure if that's conservative or aggressive, uh, as far as estimates go. And right now, I'm not really worried about earning a reroll, just kind of walking around. Keep seeing if we get more penny drops, because I'm likely to gain more HP than I'd lose, and... I would love to see some... I, I mean, I could just look at the item description, but... 
like the the formal item description that actually tells me what the values of it are. But um, I would love to see how something like Soul Penny compares to the Relic or the Miter. I wonder if it's uh, if it's similar. The answer is I don't know. Man, those guys are super easy to take out when there's only one of them. And there we go. No second secret room, or was it just in an area we've already explored, or is it in that last room? It might be in that last room that nobody's touched yet. We're super slow. I would, uh... I would like to not be. Have we come this way since we got... It must be in this last room, then. I really don't want to backtrack more. Because we are so gosh darn slow. Yeah, there's a judgment as well. Man, I am very glad that I finished off this floor. If we had not done that, we wouldn't have known what we've been missing out on. I hate that this judgment morphs into another... Uh, taking another consumable. But hey, he paid out with an HP upgrade, so that's good enough. Even though it makes Blood Oath worse. Remember that our goal is to be getting rid of these uh, red hearts anyway at some point. So I would totally take... Oh, we don't want to go that way. I would totally take Guppy's Paw at face value. It would give me such a good boost. And there we go. Alright. Good floor. Good floor. Six bombs left. Don't want to go to our boss fight right away. There's a mini boss not in the uh, shop, which is great. Oh, this is so good. So we don't have an arcade. But we have the most important part of an arcade right here. So that's the only thing that really matters. We don't have a boss trap room, so we don't need to worry about, like, getting to a room after we get our health down low. I'm excited for this. Of course I want the HP plus speed upgrade, but now there's an ulterior motive as well. Oh, uh, give it to me, baby. That is, like, two and a half spirit arts right there. Pretty solid. And man, if you could get, uh, Mom's Purse... That's a really good luck right there. If you could get Mom's Purse... And then have uh, Bloody Penny and Soul Penny. That would be the craziest thing. Like, you could just play Blood Banks and get infinite extra health. I'm pretty sure. That would uh, that would be absurd. I'm pretty sure that Bloody Penny plays out, pays out more often. Uh, but still. I am loving Soul Penny plus arcades right now. The meta evolves a little bit. Now. It does make things a little easier, but it also puts us in a bad place for Red Hearts. That uh, was not a great dodge, but I got lucky. And uh, let's hope that happens again. There's another full spirit heart and a little bit of extra HP that we can gamble away. Let's come into our item room first, though. Remember, we have Nun's Habit as well. You know what? I'm going to take the speed upgrade. I feel very slow. Uh, but I shouldn't have gambled so much on the Blood Bank, I guess, till I got, um, you know, something that warranted a reroll. Because I kind of wasted some reroll engine potential there. But at the same time, I got excited with myself. Don't. Don't hold it against me, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. These strategies are going to evolve as time goes on and become more uh, in inherent. I don't know the way I'm trying to describe this. World card, might as well. There's our secret room and the, the layout of all these rooms that we're facing. Blue candle is uh, good enough to buy because we have a ton of money. And then immediately we roll into something else. And the ladder is not really what we want, as you could probably guess. We might play that fortune teller more, uh, but I figured we'd just o at least open up the path to get to the boss. Just so we don't have to worry about it, and it's a very quick uh, room for us to take out. A couple of champions, maybe a spirit heart waiting for us in here somewhere. Ah, uh, there's a tarot card, the tower. I don't think it's very good. We did get half a spirit heart. And pinky eye, which at this point, soul penny is just so far above the other trinkets in the game that I really can't justify taking, uh, taking pinky eye. And that's telling, because pinky eye is a pretty good trinket, all things considered. Among the top tier. Maybe not at the very tippy top, but it's up there. Remember, we did take Luckfoot earlier on in this run, so we do have the uh, little bit of peace of mind when it comes to taking pills. More half hearts are actually good for us in this situation. Let's see what this is. Full health, beautiful. Uh, we'll we'll use that eventually. All right, we probably won't use that eventually though. Cool. Knowing that pills in the rotation is uh, good for peace of mind as well. see what's in our uh, mob trap room. At this point, I'm feeling very confident, but I would love to lose health to gain deal with the devil items. Like, trading 2 HP for the pact and 2 HP for the mark would put us in such an amazing position on damage and health right now. Also, being able to pick up the map would be nice, but I would settle for maybe a 9 volt as well. 
or a mom's coin purse. We'll see what the what the shop has to offer. There's mom's coin purse, so I'm just gonna take it. One of those is full health. One of them is a tears upgrade. That's very helpful. One of them is balls of steel, which is great. And uh, one is not very useful at all. But uh, what is that? It's full health. So we'll probably try to use full health on this floor. Because we really don't gain any value out of having full health and the sun. But 15 cents for a tears upgrade. I, I'm tempted to call that a win, but I don't necessarily know that it is a win. And the reason I say that is because we lost some opportunity costs there. Oh, this is, uh, this is good. So I think we're going to save that as a reroll pedestal. What we basically gave up is not only 15 cents, because 15 cents is meaningless right now. Not even worth mentioning. Uh, but we gave up a, a reroll pedestal. So is it worth a reroll pedestal for a tiers upgrade? Yeah, probably. If if the coat hanger just showed up randomly, would I pick it up or would I reroll it? I would pick it up. Maybe I'm being too hard on myself, then. It seems like I, I made the right decision. But um, I, maybe I expected the coin purse to be a little bit better, and that's why I'm a little bit muted on the response that we got. But anyway, a 1-up is an interesting uh, value proposition here. I've been a big proponent of these items recently. I think I'm going to go back on that. And I'm going to say that uh, we're going to want to replace this 1-up because we have so many potential rerolls, especially with uh, Nun's Habits plus that Blood Bank. And we really want to play that Blood Bank as much as possible anyway because of Soul Penny, so... Uh, if we could get a reroll pedestal here, that would be cool too. Like, even if Attack Fly showed up, I would probably be pretty easily swayed to leaving it around uh, so I could reroll it into something else. But Bob's Rotten Head is our earlier priority. And what do I want from the secret room? Spider Bite or Raw Liver, I think, are pretty much the only ones that uh, would really sway me. I can't remember if you can get Skeleton Key. I don't think you can. I think it's only Mob Trap rooms. Well, nothing here, except Fish Head, which is pretty terrible. But yeah, I don't think we have the potential to really open up a whole bunch of seams at the end of this floor. But I think we have the potential to, to get maybe like one more decent item. And I think Raw Liver, in a weird way, is actually only decent. Spider Bite would be great. But um, is only decent as a result of the fact that we uh, don't really want more HP. And like, we want to give up as much of it as possible. Up to a point, at least. Pills are good. Keys are fine. Luck up. Well, pills are occasionally good. Maybe that's a better way to put it. Oh, that, yeah, that was me almost getting hit there by being a big idiot. And you know what? We have one more room left over. We might as well sort that out. There are enemies. Oh, I was just trying to be cheeky and do that. There we go. Uh, we get the Onk. I don't think the Onk's worth it, honestly. Onkously. I normally think that, uh, again, like, I've been a big proponent of the Ankh and the 1-Up recently. Well, recently in Isaac terms, is like over the past couple of months, but uh, I don't think it's good enough anymore. So we're going to go pretty hard on this uh, Blood Bank here. It's going to require a little bit of backtracking. I'm really glad I took that speed upgrade. I, the people are going to hate on it. It's making my, like, propensity to actually do backtracking so much higher now. Reroll the Ankh, it becomes Dad's Key. Dad's Key is pretty terrible. This run is already, like, longer than the last one, I think, which is funny. Because we're only on the devs part two, but that's okay. Might as well pick up the money, see if we get some spirit hearts out of it. That's more along the lines of a payout that I would expect, like one half spirit heart per, like, seven cents. Maybe I've just gotten lucky so far. Whoa, donkey's jawbone, so we will take that. Um, let, let's make this run interesting. It's community remix. Let's have some fun with it. So donkey's jawbone is uh, a worse version of mom's knife, but I think it's been buffed a little bit in the newest version. Uh, to not be as freaking terrible as it was before, which is great news Because it was god-awful before Oh, there's a At least one half spirit heart and We should have used full health on this floor, but we got another half spirit heart out of it So we'll just keep the sun card full health. I should have used you. I apologize for it We're probably missing out on some spirit hearts. Maybe even the blood bag as a result. Oh, well um, with blood oath what is, That's full health. No, the tower, right? Um, with Blood Oath, we should be doing a ton of damage at a half heart interval now. And if we can get the Polaroid, maybe we can snag permanent Polaroid Invincibility. Alright, Donkey's Jawbone, you know, as you can see, not the greatest item ever made, but it is doing damage. It's, it's, it's a little comparable to, like, what I would expect from Mom's Knife at this point. We're already halfway done with this room. And in a way, it would be awesome to get, uh, some redemption with Donkey's Jawbone, because it really was 
I think, at the heart of the worst community remix run I've ever had on camera, at least. Cool. Pretty terrible for crowd control, actually. There we go. And we'll reroll the range upgrade into Cat of Nine Tails. Beautiful. No Polaroid, which sucks, which is why I also picked up that HP, but it is down to the next floor. With that library active, especially because it seems like it's, you know, actually in the direction that we want to go. We might be able to get a double item room. In fact, I would be surprised if we didn't get a double item room out of it. And yeah, I, I can't stress enough that it's super cool that it seems to be on the way. We've already taken three or four books out of the rotation just by virtue of, you know, bad luck. <laughs> Decent luck, I guess. Anytime you get an item pedestal, it's, it's good luck. Uh, unless it's on the item room, which is where half of those books came, I guess. I almost feel like Donkey's Jawbone... Like, the thing that makes it in one way, in one way only better than Mom's Knife is the fact that if you don't throw it, it seems to have, like, a longer melee range. But now I'm looking at it from a different angle, and I think my eyes might have been playing tricks on me. So I'm starting to, uh, to hemorrhage healthier a little bit. It's important to recognize that early. So I don't let it slip away. I realize, by the way, that we, uh, we do have that moon card. I would like to use that to get to the secret room for the potential of getting some spirit hearts, but... May not... Oh, eternal heart, huh? May not be totally necessary. Tears upgrade is okay, I guess, at this point. Oh, there we go. Really? Really. Okay. Well, let's start by going to the library. It's weird to have an item like Mom's Knife and not be able to one-shot enemies. We're kind of two-shotting them. I don't even know if Donkey's Jawbone or Mom's Knife benefit from a Tears upgrade. I thought they did. Alright, so we got Book of Sin, which is way usable. Thank you. Necronomicon, which is not that good, but uh, it's only there as a pedestal anyway. Forgot that there's extra books in Community Remix. Book of Despair. I got Despair right here. It's funny because of the typo. Uh, let's uh, let's all go to the lobby and get ourselves some snacks. Fighting the, the boss of the first floor here. First womb floor, I should say. Oh, really? Off by like a quarter of an inch there. I'm trying to think. I guess we should go to one more room before we uh, fight the boss. Just so we, we're guaranteed to have a reroll. For the... Uh, possible deal with the devil. And again, I'm not picky about deals with the devil. Even if it's not very good, a not very good deal with the devil is probably worth taking. That was bad. Uh, is probably worth taking. Because it uh, gives me some extra damage in the form of Blood Oath. And if we end up not using this reroll on the boss room or the deal with the devil, well, who cares then? We'll, we'll use it on the library instead. So we'll go through with this. It's going to be Daddy Long Legs. A pretty good opportunity to see how our, um, our jawbone actually works. It's doing an okay amount of damage. Daddy Long Legs is a little bit low on the HP side, so it's not like... Um, I'm looking at this and being like, whoa, we are one badass motherfucker. More like, you know, it's competent. We will take the HP. And thank God it's not Krampus. Okay, I'm not going to take Brimstone or Sulfur. I'm going to reroll both. But then I'm going to, even though we can fly, and even though Brother Bobby's bad, I think I'm going to take both of these. That might seem ridiculously stupid, but it gives us a huge damage buff, I think because of Blood Oath, which we need more than the HP. We're going to be rolling mostly on Spirit Hearts at this point. Uh, oh god, money equals power. Somebody up there likes me. We also got a deck of cards. The World card, huh? That's actually fairly useful here. We can see how close that secret room is. We're going to want to earn another reroll if possible. But money equals power is really the, uh, the good thing for us there. I've made some mistakes in this run. I think I've, like, strategic mistakes in the items that I've picked up. I think I've been thrown off my routine a little bit by not going after those guppy items. Uh, but at the same time, I think we're, we're in a good position. I may need a bit more in the spirit heart department if we're going to really swing it. But uh, certainly, Donkey's Jawbone should be very potent now. 80 times 0 .04 is like 3.2 damage up. If we find another uh, arcade on the next floor, I could pretty easily get to 99 cents without putting myself out too much. And we do need more rerolls. That's the main reason I guess I'm still going through with this. Although I'm scared and kind of just want to head down to the next floor. 
I, I realize that, you know, the longer we stay on this floor, probably the more value we're going to get out of it. And ever since I said uh, that uh, Soul Penny is overpowered, we've stopped getting drops from it, which scares me a little bit, but we'll probably be fine, probably, I think. So hopefully this reroll just works out and we have an excuse to go down to the next floor immediately. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I don't even have to say, like, make up some bullshit compromise about how that's good. It's just good. The orbitals will uh, protect us very nicely as we move further and further into the game. So there is another library on this floor. This is a big one, Curse of the Lost. Like, big is in important, maybe, but big is in, um, like, just physically a large floor, it seems like. Come on, Donkey's Jawbone, work with me here. I mean, I know these guys have a ton of HP, but this is getting for goddamn ridiculous. I found pills. Hmm. Well, it looks like our library is pretty close to our boss room. Looks can be kind of deceiving on a, a big floor like this, but... You know, that's basically a double item room. And we have, uh... We got the means to reroll it if we want to. It's not like we're gonna be saving a reroll for the boss fight or anything. Lovers. Ah... Uh, might as well get the value out of it, but it's pretty unlikely that I'll end up... Uh, actually needing that on this floor. If I end up needing that on this floor, this run is over. We're, we're gonna be screwed. Alright, Chubb's easy. The damage is starting to feel a little bit more along the lines of what I would hope it could be. So we have four pedestals in here, basically, if we want them. Potentially. We find uh, Polyphemus. Yes, please. Ten bombs. Eh, it turns into Forget Me Now, which I don't think is worth it, but... We'll probably just leave that, because now I'm super stoked. So, our donkey's jawbone, you know, run, our redemption with it, is not necessarily wholly legit. I mean, we're pretty much coasting on uh, Polyphemus money equals power right now, but I think that that should be enough damage to pretty, yeah, pretty easily guarantee us a, a good place on this one. As you can see, if I pretty much just stand next to uh, Mom's heart, we take it out super quickly. Now, why don't we take the advantage that we never take? We'll go down to Shoal. Have some fun down here. There's another library, which at this point is just comical, I think. Uh, well, we have a mini boss in here. I was, I was going to say could be greed. Oh, obviously, it has to be greed or super greed. Uh, and I want to fight that because we want the pennies for the potential soul hearts. Now it's all about just getting as, uh, as cheaply powerful as possible, which I am totally okay with. So I guess we broke one of those uh, vaginal silkworms. Probably one of the most annoying enemies you can come across at this point in the game. Good. Uh, it's luck up or balls of steel? Tears up. Wow, I was way off. So we will make our way down to the library, just a very convenient place to actually use some rerolls. I can't believe that that actually worked. I was like just gonna walk into that head, and it pretty much got the job done. Uh, razor blade, rainbow baby. Neither are really good enough. Same thing with harlequin baby and dead bird. It's the the rich get richer thing, man. The better the items we have, the more we can afford to wait for better items because we don't urgently need anything. So if we end up leaving those items behind, it doesn't matter to me very much at all. We can afford to wait for the, the true, like, blockbuster items. Death is an okay card. At some junctures. Uh, we'll probably use it, like, exactly on this room. Which is a bad time to use it. That's okay, though. Man. It's pretty good. All right, we'll get uh, we'll get one last reroll, even though we will be able to go down to the chest, because we have two items in there. That's like half a chest, and if I get hit twice on Satan, then we'll be able to reroll them immediately. And even if I don't, I'll be able to reroll them soon, right? What's the big deal? So they get rerolled. Um, what is that? Eyesore, random tears. I don't think that'll affect Donkey's jawbone. Scapular. This has been a very community remixy run. Now we've got a community remix trinket, uh, community remix like tear effect, basically, and a few community remix items thrown in, including Blood Oath, which always just makes me so happy. Alright, Satan, let's do this. I don't like the chances of the Fallen here. Uh, maybe a little bit more of that bomb doesn't make it in, but... There we go. Only one left. Took a little bit of damage, that's okay. I don't think Satan's gonna be able to offer uh, too much resistance here. He's already half dead. A couple more shots will be able to make this very easy. Probably could have handled this even better, to be honest with you. And then we've got the uh, we've got the feet. So what I'm going to try to do with the feet is bait them to fall near me. That was bad. I said what I'm going to try to make happen, not what's going to happen. 
Uh, and we'll head down to the chest now with a reroll active. Ideally, I wouldn't have taken damage there. Shit happens, though. So, uh, we'll definitely take our damage upgrade. We'll reroll everything else because I think Quad Shot lowers our damage here. If it raises it, I apologize. I'm also going to take the Sun card just so we can more easily find the boss room. I don't think we're going to need full health. Might as well just uh, expedite the whole process here, right? Almost got hit by that famine there. I don't know if I ever would have forgiven myself. We got way more than enough speed to get out of that guy's way because we that um, it hurts is actually a speed upgrade plus a, uh, a damage upgrade. And this one is pretty much in the books to the point where I'm actually like actively standing next to these enemies. We have two of the same item on the board right now, which is really weird. I don't want to pick it up because it'll lower our health with, uh, or lower our damage with Blood Oath. This isn't the way we're supposed to. Ah, it doesn't really matter which way we went. This is actually easier than fighting two lusts. And bombs. Okay, final reroll. Well, with Nun's Habit, I guess, like, the pad is not useless. And will allow us to do a, an F-ton of damage with Donkey's Jawbone. So I'm very pleased with this run on a Community Remix standpoint. Just freeze him right away, and then he'll try to get away. But if we just, like, stand next to him, that's going to be bad for business. And he'll come back any second now. We have a full suite of orbitals, so we can actually afford to stand right next to him. Wow, that was crazy. Well, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.